Hey everyone, do uh, another quick update on my ZTU 125. It now has uh, 4,300 miles of problem free riding. Still runs and rides, has no. And uh, still extremely happy with it. Still wouldn't swap it for anything else. Uh, basically, that's it. Apart from I added some wheel rim tape to the wheels. Uh, R&D tape, which unfortunately has come off the front wheel on both sides and the rear wheel on the uh, disc side. The only side that's stuck, which is the one that I thought would come off first, is on the chain side. And I thought it'd come off because of the chain lube there, but for some reason, that's the one side that's stuck. Uh, so what I've done is I've gone on Amazon and I've bought two packs of uh, 20 quarter strips. So you get four quarters per side of wheel. So that's eight quarters on each wheel. And I've got each uh, two packs where you get 20 strips in a pack for six quid. So I bought two packs for 12 quid. And they're just plain orange strips that I'll be going on the bike when I washed it and cleaned it and cleaned the wheel rims and cleaned them again and again and again. And then the very last thing I'll do before fitting them, we be cleaning them with a isopropyl alcohol and making sure they're completely dry and then going for it again. And hopefully this time they'll stick. As I say, the bike is... Uh, Tip top, no issues whatsoever, still fantastic. However, there is one thing that I'm going to show you, which is not a problem, but it's to do with the fob and the fact that it's keyless. And I shall try and explain to you and show you by using my spare fob to turn the bike on. So turn it on and have a listen. We'll try that again. Right, those three beeps, and the ignition is still on, are low battery in the fob warning. Uh, I found this one out because it was bugging me. What the hell is that? And I went through the owner's manual in the, it's in English, but it's been translated from Chinese. Uh, and I assume by someone who is Chinese. So even though all the words are in English, they might not necessarily be the correct words to explain. So, what I did is I got my main key. Is this one? And I replaced the battery in it. Have a listen. No beep. Now the reason it doesn't beep is because I've replaced the battery and I've had the bike since December 2020 and it's now 2nd of August 21. So yeah the batteries give you six or seven months and they uh, basically need replacing and there is a reason for this and it is because the bike is 100% keyless. And because these fobs are always on, they do not turn off. So these are always putting out a signal, they never ever turn off. And for that reason, the batteries will run out. Imagine holding down the uh, 
one of the buttons on a TV remote. How long is that going to last? Not long, is it? And that's basically it. So what these have inside them is a Panasonic BR1225 battery. They cost about six quid each. You can buy one off Amazon for that. There is also the CR1225. Now, even though they are both exactly the same size batteries, they are not the same batteries. They're both lithium, but they've got different ingredients in them as such. So what it is, is the BR lasts longer at a lower voltage. Even though that say three volts on it, and the CR says three volts on it, the BR has 48 milliamp hours, and the CR doesn't. And they're designed to work in different ways. The BR, is in the fob and it lasts a long 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 time on a low voltage the CR is the sort of battery that you would have in a car key fob where you press the button and it sends out a signal unlocks the car but you're not holding it down it's not always on it only drains the battery when you press the button unlike the fob on this bike where it's draining all the time when it's indoors it's draining the battery when it's in your pocket, it's draining the battery. It's always sending out a signal non-stop. You can't turn it off. So you need to put a BR1225 battery in it. If you put a CR1225 battery, it's going to run out really quick. Because the, uh, the voltage is a 3 watt, oh, sorry, 3 volts. But the milliamp hours is a lot lower. They're designed to be higher voltage when you for like a second or a couple of seconds press and that's it whereas the BR is a slightly lower voltage about 2.8 but it's designed to be long lasting if you replace your battery you need to replace it with a BR1225 you can use a CR you might get a month, you might get two months out of it, then you have to replace it again. But here's the thing. You can buy one Panasonic BR1225 for about £6. Or you can buy ten CR1225 cheap ones off Amazon for like £2.50. So replacing a battery every month or a couple of months on the CR1225s is cheaper than replacing it with a Panasonic. just means... When you hear that beep, 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 you've got to replace the battery. And here's the other thing. You've got to replace the battery in both fobs because they both activate at the same time, which means both batteries are run out at the same time because they're always on. So I'm going to replace the battery in my spare fob so it doesn't completely run out and I lose the code on it, which is the other thing. So it's replaced both batteries at the same time because they will both run out at the same time. So BR1225 is what's in them when you buy them. They last about six, seven months before the uh, bike says low battery. And then you can use a BR or a CR. I'm using some CRs because I didn't want to spend £6 and it wasn't the battery fault or low battery in the fob, so I just bought a blister pack or two blister packs for like two pounds something off Amazon put it in, yep it's definitely that so once all them, once that does it again and I use all these batteries up I'll then buy a proper Panasonic one because I know what the fault is well not a fault, I know it's just that that's running down, running out so uh, yeah, there you have it see you later, bye bye